Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to our subscriber game tournament season two as we continue with our round three time trial in the final matchup against Yulia. So Yulia brought Cao Cao, Lu Bu, and Zhang He. And this is a really interesting composition. There is no Zhang Jiao and Messenger of Heaven. So the unit side of things becomes a little weaker as it's mostly gonna be low quality, but fast speed cavalry which is definitely a right approach because there are more units on Yulia's side with better generals. So in combat, if they're fighting together, they would come out on top, especially if I try to scatter and run away from Lu Bu's Dragon Gaze ability, since pulling my troops together at that point would just debuff them and get them killed. And the most interesting part about this composition is the fact that Zhang He was picked. Zhang He is actually a very powerful general for this particular event because he gives ability called Geographic Mastery as a passive boost to every single unit on the map on his side. There is a 10% speed bonus on this passive, which is not massive, but there's also ignore ground type, ignore forest penalty, which for this particular map is not really relevant but for many maps in the game, it actually makes quite a bit of a difference in terms of unit speed. But the coolest thing here on Geographic Mastery is the 100% forest spotting boost. So essentially, this doubles your unit's sight lines. And while there are no forests, if it can see through forests, it can definitely see through open field. So essentially, the radius of vision around every single unit here on Yulia's side is going to be doubled. And there's going to be that nice 10% speed boost. Cao Cao and Lu Bu are obviously the fastest two generals in the game. Cao Cao also has Nature's Ally to provide additional speed. And all the cavalry choices here are the type with 95 base speed. And once boosted by their generals, it's going to match my unit and actually be even faster due to the 10% from Geographic Mastery. So instead of 119, they're all going to be 128. So let's see how the deployment goes and see if Yulia can carry these units to victory in the fastest time possible. And looking at deployment, we have a straight line here for the generals who cannot guerrilla deploy. Lu Bu can. And there is a bit of spreading out, so there's four units slightly ahead of the main line, which is probably okay to do. Lu Bu is babysitting two units, which is probably the good idea, because if it's just two units and I run into them, I can kill them. If there's Lu Bu, Lu Bu can just drag and gaze and then run out and wait for reinforcement to close in, so I might be a bit hesitant to do so. Plus, I don't have perfect vision of what's happening behind me once the game load in, as this is a live event. So I'm desperately trying to hit that surprise attack to give myself invisibility and start running away from the units that I actually do see here on the map. And I want to call close attention to the actual microing of the unit here for Yulia because it's one of the better micros uh, that I've seen so far. So right now they're just advancing while maintaining this line. It probably would have been better if they spread out a bit more, but given that I have double sight range, uh, they will do decently well, as this unit will spot my unit here, uh, despite being in uh, surprise attack, as you can see the units start shifting. And I'm spreading out as much as possible, uh, just to try to keep some units alive, potentially hide them. And they're pursuing the units here. Uh, not convinced that all my units on one side, these continue to push forward. Now I know these are exposed, so the general is more precious, so I'm giving up on these four as a bait so that they can shift back towards them. And it worked because it actually pulled the attention of these units here. Now they never saw these units, that was the trick. I had surprise attack and they never closed enough distance to see them. Now they're just using sheer distance to prevent sight. Um, but these are exposed, so they're chasing down, everyone's kind of closing in on these as I'm trying to run to the opposite corner, have them flee to the other side to buy my unit some time. And we can just fast forward a little bit. I dump off my units to create two different directions to see 
where Yulia would pursue. Uh, these cavalry have been engaged. You can see it's two or three units per one of my units. So even though they're similar quality, I wouldn't be able to win. I can't outrun Cao Cao and Lu Bu, so I decided to pull them closer to my cavalry, so my cavalry could run some delays here, uh, so that I can free up my generals, so they wouldn't get killed too fast in this case. So I'm basically clashing cavalry into Lu Bu and Cao Cao to buy them some time, countercharging a couple positions to maybe create a path for my generals to slip through, because if they get charged by everything, it'll be very difficult. But there's just waves and waves of cavalry coming. I decided that since these are lower quality units, I could try to roar and fight away from the generals to quickly destroy them to help my units and also my general to break free here. Uh, the cavalry on this side are losing and they're being pursued, which is necessary or else they will slip and then I will run them into the corner. Zhang He is slow. Personally, as a general, he's not fast enough to stay with Cao Cao and Lu Bu, which is not surprising. Their speed is insane. 181 is faster than with the 50% boost I can give myself during surprise attack. So there is no outrunning Tal Tal, as you can see. Sima Wei has been caught. He's always the one getting caught because he has 10 less base speed than these two. And I cannot get out. Just too many swarming targets. I'm getting bumped and I can't pull him with my other two general, which will do me even more because he's the one providing nature's ally. So they're actually going to be slower after he dies. Uh, you can see all the units swarming back. My only saving grace is I hid four units into this corner. And at this point, I'm convinced that it's probably best I don't use them. Because even if I use them like I used them in this corner, I can't really peel my generals off. So I decided that the best shot I have extend this match is peeling my general towards the opposite corner from where my units are hidden. So I'm going for this corner here. So hopefully... Yulia doesn't realize I have units in this corner and I can buy more time. I came back to give him a surprise attack speed boost to try to give him some help, but Cao Cao is way faster and there's just not much we can do as that geographic mastery passive is quite deadly with that 10% speed boost. Uh, but we're running away to the center and then we're going to peel to an opposite corner here as much of a delay as we can. We're getting pursued by all the units. Now it's just a matter of time that Cao Cao catches up and get a couple swings in. And he does match the speed, but you can see the attack animation is having a difficult time actually registering attack. So he's just racing alongside my general, which is quite fortunate because our speed is about to run out in three seconds. And then he's probably going to have a lot of free speed to swing at me. Yep, I ran out of speed, decided to change direction here. Uh, I'm aiming for this corner. You see the farthest distance from my other units because I know I ran out of surprise attack. There's no getting out at this point. It's three more minutes until I can use it again. And you can see the sheer speed difference here. It's not even close. It's a bump. We keep trying. There's no point staying and fighting. That will only lose faster. So, we're just gonna run. I did find this unit, came into vision, I decided I could charge at it. I could get a little speed boost charging at it. So hopefully that will help. Disrupted by Cao Cao here. Got me into attack animation just by hitting me. Can't do much about it. Have to just give another command. Um, died. Too many units. All right, we don't actually want to engage, so as we get close, we want to pull off and then try to just get breakthrough. And I'm just aiming for the corner. If I can get to the corner, that's the you know longest distance I can create for my unit and the best shot at extending this match. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I tried to duel, but obviously rejected. Now at this point, Yulia realized I hid a unit somewhere. So it's hide and seek time. Now, notice how this hide and seek goes. This spread was really nice, 
and basically once the line was created, all the unit just spread out forward. And this is really nice coverage, to be honest. I tried to run the unit off because I was worried that the corner would be the first guess and all the units would dash back. I have no vision after losing my generals. So I was thinking maybe all the units just dash back at the corner since there was that little incident very early on the match where they got some look at this chase, but then they gave up when they saw the other group. And I decided if I can relocate to this corner and they run back to this corner, maybe I'll buy myself more time. But there was such a good spread to go to every single part of the map that uh, my units really didn't have a chance. And I got dragon gazed, people dismounted uh, to get a better control over the slam, I believe, which is, you know, not necessary because I wasn't going to get out of this. And we have official time of 10 minute and 46 seconds. That will be the second fastest time after will be Dean. And that means Vermilion Bird has been eliminated from our tournament as Yulia moves on, joining the others in the top eight. Now there will be a separate video after this one that will discuss the rules for top eight, as well as the matchup as it will be randomized since it's hard to provide a ranking as all the players arrived at top eight through different means, six of them 2-0 through their siege matchup, and will be Deed and Yulia here coming out of our round three time trial. So while this round was a bit silly in terms of not actually having a battle, I think it was still a very good test of general knowledge of the general choices, Zheng He being a very excellent choice on this map, the utilization of all cavalry, even if they're cheap quality, the ability to micro your units to send each unit at an individual target, being able to spread out and not just use group commands to chase after one target, all come together and we have Wobby Deed and Yulia coming on top, which I feel is a pretty fair representation of skills that will transfer over to an actual battle. And we await great things from our top eight as they will be duking it out in the coming days uh, as we have our final soon. Now there is a special announcement. Tomorrow will not be the first day of round four. There is a special match that we did with the six players who sat out for this round as they advance directly into the top eight. There'll be a couple of thematic battles where I will be playing one side versus multiple contestants in sort of these unfair but very grand matchups and I hope you guys will enjoy them and those will come out at the start of round four tomorrow and after round four concludes we did two separate theme battles one featuring a yellow turban rebellion and one featuring the hulao gate siege so until then bye